video is sponsored by Thrive Market. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and it is Thursday, September 15th and it's officially hat season. For me, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I love wearing my winter hats. So it is nine o'clock in the morning. I have the farmer's market today and all season long, you guys have been asking me to show what I do for my market bouquets. I have two different sizes. I have a $15 market bouquet and I have a $5 mini bouquet. So I thought I'd show you guys my process for that. It's different than my CSA bouquets. It has a lesser value, but to me, they're just as beautiful. I still have a little bit of harvesting left to do, but for the most part, I harvested. I'm bringing a smaller amount to the market this week. As school went back into session a couple weeks ago, the crowd at the farmer's market tends to be a little bit smaller. My sales have kind of um, gotten less and less as the weeks go on, and I'm not expecting a crazy turnout today. It's cold, it's only 45 degrees out right now. But I wanna show you guys what I cut yesterday for today, and I still have to run down and get some sunflowers and stuff like that. My zinnias are still pumping out blooms. I barely cut off of these rows last night. And guys, check this out. I was harvesting in the rain last night. Look what happened. I'm always excited when I see it just start to drizzle a little bit and the sun's still shining somewhere because I know I have a 360 degree view on top of this hill. I know there's gonna be a rainbow somewhere. There were rainbows on the ground and rainbows in the sky. Here's another bucket of zinnias. Amazing, just beautiful fall colors. And honestly, throwing in a couple of purple or pink stems with the other, the other ones makes a really beautiful fall bouquet. Speaking of pinks, check out the rose lilies that I still am harvesting. I'm harvesting these for probably another two weeks. And there's some status back there too. These are the highly scented, beautiful, too strong for some people. And I also have some, what people, most people call stargazer lilies in here. Those are also scented. I don't think I have any more of the Asiatic unscented lilies, but I do have more double rose lilies to come. Guys, I finally have some Cosmos. So my Cosmo plants were chewed up, chewed up by something. I don't even know what, what it was, but they bounced back and now I'm getting some beautiful Cosmos. Check out this white one. Look at that, beauteous. And I'm also harvesting some flocks, still the annual flocks. And look at this ageratum that self-seeded inside the deer fence around where it was last year. There are a bunch of stems. There was a huge plant in there. I just harvested it all last night. It's pink with white frilly tips. I love it. Okay, some celosia in this bucket and then look what else I found. I was kind of wandering around inside the deer fence last night and I found this Rubecchia in the chim chimney. It is a chim chimney Rubecchia, but check out how dark and gorgeous it is. Perfect for fall. Here it is. I put it in a bucket with celosia. Look at that. That screams fall. And these are a multiple, like this is one stem with the two. Beautiful. It's a little bit probably past when I normally would harvest it, uh, but it, the color is so good that I don't care. Now the Rubecchia, I kind of stopped cutting on because it was be beginning to develop powdery mildew and uh, just stopped cutting on it. I had so many other options that I just stopped. There is lots of celosia in this bucket as well all the colors for fall. This is probably enough to do 20 bouquets or so. I might go get some, okay, so I do wanna go get some gumfrina and I wanna get some sunflowers, if I have any. I don't know if I have any left. And what else are we looking at down there? Oh, some lisianthus. Yeah, I have some lisianthus left. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut a couple more buckets and then we're gonna to head to the nursery because all of my bouquet making supplies are at the nursery. So we'll go from here to the nursery and then to the farmer's market to set up. And now more about the sponsor of today's video. It's Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living and grocery shopping easy and affordable for customers like you and me. Check out these items I just received in the mail for the nursery. So now that I have a second location, I definitely needed to up my ante when it comes to cleaning supplies. Thrive has such a variety of amazing all natural cleaning supplies supplies, including things in this box. Let's check it out. Some bamboo cleaning wipes, all purpose cleaning vinegar, and a refill. This is definitely gonna come in handy when it comes to keeping things clean. Check this one out. This is an all purpose home cleaner and you just add water and that's it. And in this box, we have a couple of other things to make cleaning easier for me. 
including some window cleaning cloths, lots of windows at the nursery, some vinegar wipes, a disinfecting multi-surface cleaner. This will come in handy, especially in the bathroom. Of course, cleaning supplies is not all Thrive has to offer. Thrive Market can help you cut your organic grocery bill by as much as 30%. They have an amazing selection of groceries, snacks, supplements, non-toxic beauty items, personal care items, organic products for your kids, and more. It's good for you and it's good for the planet. Orders of more than $49 are shipped for free, and as you saw, it's a very eco-friendly packaging system. There's literally no plastic. By clicking the link in my description box or by going to thrivemarket.com slash Flower Hill Farm, you guys will get 30% off your first order, plus you get to choose a free gift with a value of up to $50 by joining Thrive Market today. All right, guys, I gotta go clean. See you soon. Okay, I'm just gonna grab some of this gonfrina, mostly this dark purple stuff. I'd like to use the red, but it's too far gone. I can't use that. It'd fall apart in the bouquets. Great for seed collecting, though. I'm also grabbing some scabiosa. Lots of good stuff still here. Uh, they're really just great this year. Okay. I think this is enough for today. I don't want to go nuts, and I don't have a lot of time, so let's take off. I went inside, I changed, it's actually getting, what's the temperature outside right now? It's 54 degrees, so we're moving up in the world. I have changed, I am gonna get another hat, um, probably a baseball cap because I do have hat hair and I have my shades because the sun has popped out. So I have like a mental checklist that I go over before I go to the market. I have my tent, I have my sides. I like to put sides up because otherwise people try to get behind my tables and rifle through my flowers. And I don't like that. That makes me anxiety nervous. And so I also have my signs. I have a bunch of signs. I just got these from Vista Print guys. This is just a sign that goes outside my tent, says my name, uh, fresh local blooms, $15 and $5 bouquets. People miss this a lot. It's best to have something actually on your table next to the flowers as well. I do have those signs. I have a small tabletop one that says basically the same thing with my Venmo uh, because I do have people that pay, pay with Venmo. This is nice to have right next to the bucket on the table, but <laughs> it blows over in the wind. It's very lightweight, so I suggest mounting it to something heavier. I also have my tables. Just kidding, I don't. I don't have them because they're at the nursery. I use them at the nursery, so those are something that I have to pick up. I have my cash bag. It's on the counter, actually, on the table. I got to go grab that, and I have the change inside of it because I always start my day with change in my, my cash bag. Flowers. I, things that I need to get at the nursery. <laughs> Rubber bands, flower food, papers, stapler. All of those things are at the nursery. Nursery, because I had the bouquet bar over the weekend, which was a huge success. Guys, let me tell you, it's difficult to run a nursery, a bouquet bar, a mum sale, a bunch of stuff going on at once, and run camera. So I only have a few pictures and maybe five seconds of video from the bouquet bar. We were swamped. It was an amazing show of support from the community. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. We're doing it all over again this coming weekend. As long as we have flowers, we're gonna offer the bouquet bar along with the nursery sales. I'm gonna run inside, grab my cash bag and my snacks. Gotta have my snacks. And then we'll head over to the nursery, grab the rest of what we need, and then go set up at the market. Okay, this is where I had the bouquet bar set up. And check these out. So here are my supplies. I've got to grab this, 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 and this, and take it with me. Also going to grab some of these buckets as well. I also have to take this comes down because this goes on the front of my table at market. on this side because we my aunt's tent is right up against mine okay 
put my microphone pack on. I feel like I'm doing a live shot for the news, getting my microphone on. I'm talking to my camera. I talk to my camera. People think I'm talking to them. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm about to make the boobs. Everyone's in like a hustle bustle right now. Um, my tent's pretty much set up. My aunt is not set up fully, but she's 60% there. You have your Christmas ornaments to put up. Uh, and then we have the grassroots meats guys setting up, the honey guys setting up, the vegetable guys pretty much set up. And then a few other vendors are still coming. We still have 45 minutes before the market starts, so um, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. All right, so here are my fleurs. My fleurs are in the fleur. <laughs> My fleurs are in the fleur. I feel like Muppet. Fleur, 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 fleur. So let's start with a really, really fall, fall like bouquet. And these, again, they're the $15 bouquets. Let's do it. I am grabbing one of these dark chim chims. And guys, look at the celosia with this right away. Just feast your eyes upon the beauty. I also have some glads, but. I'm trying to make some glad free books today because I know a lot of you guys um, don't like the structure of glad in a hand tied bouquet. So w wow, wow, just a couple of suns. So basically this is my bouquet bar structure. I sell my zinnias and my small sunflowers two for $3 at my bouquet bar. So I'm adding this up right now. That is $3, that is $6. So for just these focal flowers, that's six bucks. And I do the celosia, a dollar a stem. So that's $8 right now. That's an $8 book. I could tie that up, charge $8, but let's go and make it more. I'm gonna add some of these deep red zinnias. That's $11 right there. I didn't grab my Sweet Annie today. I definitely wanted to grab the Sweet Annie and I didn't get a chance to do that. But I am gonna come in, you know what, I'm not even going to put any gomfrina in this right now because I don't like the colors with my vibe that I have going. So I am going to put in a Roseanne Brown, which my Lysianthus are $3 a stem. So that brings it up to $14. And I'm going to round it out with something, some status. All right. And now I am going to wrap this beauty. I am missing my sweet Annie and I'm missing my basil, but the celosia makes up for it. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. I usually make a giant mess at the market. Ooh, some gum just fell out of my pouch because I just go bing, bing, bing. And all of my mess goes on the ground. Everyone knows this is my spot because all of my stems are on the ground. No, not all of them. I pick it up. I pick it up. Don't be silly. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bing. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little papey pape, a little papey pape. Talking to my camera today. Stapey stape. Stapey stape on the papey pape. And boom, that is my market bouquet. Make some more. Sometimes I don't always follow my bouquet bar and if I feel like something needs to go in extra, it goes in extra. All right, I'm bringing in a lily. The lilies, I $4 a stem, $4 a stem for these lilies. And we are gonna go right away and bring in, look at this guys. It's the double quick sunflower. It's double quick, double quick, double quick. There. Um, yes, with the pink adoratum, and yes, with a pink cosmo. Bringing that in, and I'm losing count already. I'm not paying attention, but so far. Oh, okay. Gonna bring in some of the chartreuse zins, and then I'd like a couple of dark magenta ones as well. There is one, and there are two more. And this is another market bouquet. I added one because I felt like I had a whole extra value. Another one of these. I'm gonna grab some of the orange celosia with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna grab a couple of the orange zinnias. Yes, oh my goodness, a Roseanne Brown stem. Just one, not three. <laughs> there we go. And then some suns. I am gonna put some of this extra yellow filler in as well. And a sprig of hot pink just because, because it's fun. No, I don't like the hot pink. I don't like it. Oh, 
Oh, I have some yarrow. I did cut some yarrow. That sprig of yarrow. So there's another one. Another one bites the dust. It's market day. Mook. Oh God. Dropped it. Dropped it. Nobody saw. <laughs> Julie saw. Okay. This is my display bucket. Something for everyone. <laughs> and that's it. I usually have about six made and set on the table, but I like to make them throughout the entire day because I tend to get bored otherwise. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the camera and be back. $5 minis, the $5 minis, I gotta make some of those. All right, I take one of my papers and I cut it in quarters. So it all looks really like tiny. Okay, so we have one sunflower, two zins, and a sprig of saluja. That's it, that's a mini, mini bouquet. Doesn't get any minier other than a one stem. I uh, usually do a bunch of these. Oh, half dozen, baker's dozen. Baker's dozen, two dozen, three dozen. About 45, I don't know. I'd like it to be known that these chocolate chip Chips Ahoy cookies do not belong to me, that the vendor next to me keeps putting them on my table. <laughs> and I'm eating them. Hi. Hi. I think I need three. Oh. I do. Oh, yeah. I have to take one to my mom. <laughs> and I don't know how I'll decide. Let's see. Oh wow, it's really dark. Hello? It's because of the white background. This is how we bring pink into fall. There it goes. I'm gonna add that one too. Yelp. Are you there so the weekends? Yes. Nine to three on Saturday and Sunday. Look who just showed up. Oh, hi. We don't have cookies. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm good. I've eaten a few. I hope it's going to be nice. It's going to be fantastic. So this blue looks beautiful on you. The what? Your blue. It looks nice. I like oh, that color you. on you. Brings are, out your eyes. Are you regular customers uh, <laughs> watching? No, I, everybody's watching. Well, I was going to tap dance, but... I just got done finish all that work at your place, so I haven't got. Are you got, kidding me right now? I haven't now? got any energy. I haven't got any energy. What? I was just. <laughs> he was eating a salmon while I was doing it. Oh, Maron. No, I did. I did most of the work. I believe you. I believe you. Sure. Move your move your um, suspenders so I can read it. A circle of strength and love. Oh, I love that. That's our family. Who made that? Our, it was all of, all of us wore that picnic. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this one. Look at this one, Mom. Oh my God. Come look at this. Mom liked uh, Graham liked those ones you sent. Mm. I love Did you those. See? Graham liked those flowers you sent. Oh my God. Oh good. And Alessandra brought her some too the other day. And they're doing good. Oh, good. Yeah, Isn't that? Wow. That's a lily? Yeah, it's a lily. Going oh, today. She okay. missed the whole grade. Not only one way, but she Thank missed you, the strip on the side and everything. How many do you need today? Okay. Would you take oh, a picture? Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. no, I... Okay. Market's over with. Everybody's picking up. Uh, someone just came. I had four bouquets left. Someone just came and grabbed the final four. One of my customers brought me coffee and ice cream. <laughs> so, yeah. Delicious.
And that was basically a summary of my day at the market. Sales were really slow. I only made about $300. I typically make more than double that at a market day. Sales have just really slowed down since school went back in session. And guys, I live in a really small village. It's not a city. We have about 2,000 people who live in the village and we do bring people in from other places to the market, but it's still a small town market. It wasn't a great sales day, but it always could have been worse. Thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Keep those potato chips away from me. It's so good. It's, it's rolling. Well, I edit it. I edit it. <laughs> <laughs>